Hi, so my name is Eric, and I'd like to talk about a quote that I hear a lot um, when talking about synthetic biology, which is by Richard Feynman, and it is, uh, what I cannot create, I do not understand. Got that right? So it's really good. Uh, what I cannot create, I do not understand. That's like a motto for synthetic biology right now. Um, but now let's consider this situation. I'm a synthetic biologist. My job is to engineer circuits. But how can I create what I don't understand? Because biology is complex. Uh, there are a lot of details, and those details sometimes are very important. And I can't just ignore them. But my job is to make circuits. Well, I guess I have to make something. So, well, I'm just going to do it anyway. And that's great. Uh, now we have logic gates, and we have uh, sensors and actuators and synthetic organisms, and that's super. Uh, but where is synthetic biology right now? And where I think we are right now is, how can I understand what I built? And I think there's a lot of work to do on that. Uh, but it's really powerful. When you think about what we do in biology right now, we work with E. coli and bacillus. Uh, we work with C. elegans and Drosophila and Xenopus. And why do we do all that? Well, these are all model organisms. We work with them because everyone collaborates together. We understand one thing better than we understand everything else. And that's where we can really push the cutting edge of our understanding of biology. And I think that's where synthetic biology has the greatest chance to make a contribution because I think once we do understand biology by making all of these synthetic circuits, uh, really figuring out all the details that matter, then we can create a synthetic model organism. And that the synthetic model organism will, will actually understand it better than any model organism that we currently study today, E. coli or anything, because those systems evolved with very different uh, objective functions than we might consider as engineers. But a synthetic model organism could potentially be very easy to understand because that's what we created it to do. So I think that's, um, that's my vision, that's what I think is really cool. And uh, I think by working together, we can try to make it happen. Thanks.